President Trump's positive COVID-19 test significantly alters the future of the campaign, which, believe it or not, is only a month away, leaving many wondering what the rest of the road to the election will look like. CBS 3's Emma Quinn spoke with local political experts. President Donald Trump's COVID-19 diagnosis will certainly alter the way he campaigns in the last month before the election on November 3rd. I suspect we've seen the last of those big rallies. On Friday, the Trump campaign moved most events to a virtual platform and postponing some. He is the candidate that very much gains energy and feeds off, you know, these larger rallies that he has. And so that's kind of where he creates momentum with his base. Twin Ports political experts say with the diagnosis coming two days after a Make America Great Again rally in Duluth, it could impact undecided voters. COVID is something that has directly impacted your family and, you know, or that, you know, has affected, you know, your loved ones. This may have more of an effect on your vote choice. Other experts say it likely won't be much of an advantage for Democratic nominee Joe Biden. I mean, if you look at the trend lines over since going back, you know, February or March, it's not been like you've seen in previous election years where you'll see both the candidates going up and down. It's been pretty set, which kind of indicates that, that people are kind of locked in a little bit. Should the president's COVID condition take a turn for the worse, the 25th Amendment would be instituted. The secession, the duties of the presidency would be given to Mike Pence. And so he would see, wouldn't be necessarily the, the president. He would be serving as the president in this time until the president is able to you know, take over his duties. Adding Trump does not have the ability to postpone the election as Congress sets the date. Political experts say the president's diagnosis could have an impact on smaller elections if those candidates were exposed to him.